Brown Rice and Sleepers. Happy Transformational Tuesday. It's your girl, GK. Apologies firsthand uh, for the frog in my throat. I've just awakened. But I <laughs> was risen for a specific reason, and that's to <clears throat> relay some information I just came upon in the dream state. Now, the dream state has been wonky. <laughs> And I don't know why I'm choosing that word right now, but I, that seems to fit for the energies that have been present wonky. It's been wonky in the dream state. And to be quite honest, um, I've been doing a lot of observing <laughs> and observing of the dream state. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but um, I have. And that also means I've been resting more. I've been sleeping more. Now, I don't get the quote-unquote average amount of sleep that some people do. Meaning, you know, between seven to eight hours of sleep a night. That's just not me. <laughs> it hasn't been for quite some time. And it's not that I have insomnia. It's just that. At different periods of my life, I've noticed that I require, of course, different amounts of sleep. So again, back to <laughs> observation. I've kind of been in observation mode of the dream state for a while, which is why I haven't really reported what was going on in the dream state. And then too, <laughs> I had begun observing and doing research into the dream state because for a while, it's like every time that I awakened, I couldn't recall my dreams. So it's kind of like things are coming back online now, like I'm more able, and it's not that I wasn't dreaming, it's just that I wasn't able to recall my dreams. So what the team just showed me in the dream state, again, there's a lot happening. I feel like there's a lot happening with an X there's some new things happening with the new new <laughs> and there's some things also happening within the family now last night i had a dream and it was interesting because i was awakened multiple times during my rest period yesterday and in the dream state i had went somewhere and i went to this restaurant and i was with someone i can't recall who I was with it was someone I was familiar with in the dream state not necessarily in waking life I went to this restaurant and it was like as soon as I walk in there was a, a a large party like in the middle of the restaurant there was a large party seated and you know the waiter or the waitress or the hostess was walking us towards a table like through the restaurant and I noticed at this big table are some of my family members so I just keep walking like and I'm like what and I'm like okay and I'm like why are they here and then I was like well why am I here <clears throat> excuse me forgive me <clears throat> and so something shifted in that particular dream at that time I can't recall what that was but I was like I have to get out of here so then I remember leaving the restaurant with whomever I was with. And then I awakened. And <laughs> I thought about that dream in the few minutes that I was awake. And I was like, okay, let me go back to see what else. So I fell back asleep. And <laughs> when I fell back asleep, I had some dreams. And then I had another dream where I was at a different restaurant. And I saw my family again at this restaurant and it's crazy because in my dream, <laughs> listen y'all, in my dream, I said, you know, <laughs> I saw them at a restaurant earlier and I was like, this is the second time. And I said, even in my mind, I was like, so, okay, I had that dream earlier and I saw them and I was like, is this deja vu? I was like, why am I seeing them again? 
But in my dream, I want y'all to understand, in my dream, I had the wherewithal to remember that I was already asleep before and had a dream about them before and that I was now sleep again and dreaming about them again. So two times in the dream state yesterday, I saw my family at a restaurant. Now, I don't know if you are in no contact with your family, if you're somehow separated or estranged from your family, if there are some difficult or some tense emotions that surround your family, your family unit. But there could be some behind the doors or there could be some events. This is September. Um, Sometimes families have family reunions in the summertime. You know, June, July, August. Some people may even do September. I mean, really, people have family reunions at any time of the year. It's generally the summer, but depending on where you live and then what country you are in, it could still be warm for you at this time. So there could still be family meetings going on. But what I'm getting is that there's family events. This could be a family reunion. This could just be a large family gathering. Um, maybe you were not invited or maybe you were missed. It's one of the two. Um, but there are some family meetings going on um, without you. Uh, two, the dream I just had and awakened from. Uh, this concerns either an ex or a new new. <laughs> and let me explain what I mean. You could have children with someone, so this could be the mother of your children, the father of your children, your ex. This could even just be an ex that has children. Maybe you don't have children with this person, but this person has children. For some of you, this person has been meeting with your family behind closed doors and planning some not-so-nice shit for you. <laughs> I'm really confused on why some shit wouldn't be nice but that's the energy again that i received from this dream this x or this new new because there's a new new energy here too so this could be someone who potentially wants to date you someone is doing donuts outside my bad um so you heard the jackass outside doing donuts on my street and the AM. First of all, there's not even enough room on my street to be donut doing donuts. You know how some streets are really wide? <laughs> my street is not though, and there are generally cars parked on both sides of the street all the way up my street. And I live on a pretty long street anywho. So someone finds it necessary to be somehow very dangerous <laughs> early in the a.m. and that's just confirmation someone's moving too gosh damn fast someone is up to some dangerous ass shit and it could be an ex and it could be a new new now back to this new new energy this person may have contacted someone in your family they may know someone in your family they may be working in collusion with someone in your family. Now, I feel like they've contacted or gotten to know or befriended someone in your family so that they can find out information about you, so that they can get closer to you. This isn't necessarily a preferred method, <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Like, if people want information about you or they want to get to know you, or they want to get close to you, the best way to do so was, or is, to get it from the horse's mouth, i.e., that is, to speak to you, to, to court you, to get to know you directly, not by roundabout way. 
this energy also holds true for this ex of yours. Again, this could be the mother of your child, the father of your child. This could just be an ex with children. But this person has been trying to contact or is working with someone in your family to do some dangerous shit. And basically what I'm getting is like a spiritual stick up. <laughs> Somebody wants to spiritually stick you up, to hold you up, to slow you down. Because just like that gosh damn car outside just a moment ago was moving very quickly up my street. This is how someone feels about you. And it's like someone's doing donuts. Someone is spinning in circles because someone's literally, this person may like to play records or someone could be a DJ because now they're showing me a spinning record. This person has been going around thank you angels you're bringing me back to that roundabout has been going around in a roundabout way because that's what donuts are right when you're swinging in the streets and you're doing donuts you're moving <laughs> in a roundabout fashion <laughs> so someone's been going around in a roundabout fashion to try to spiritually stick you up so this could be anything from simply slowing you down on your path on your journey to causing some type of delays or some type of construction upon your path it's like you're moving too gosh damn fast libra you're you're quantum leaping you have left the timeline libra <laughs> has left the chat and someone's not happy and even this new new energy at you know i'm happy that there are some New, new energies that are wanting to get to know you, to be around you. But if it's going to be the type of new, new that is already starting off on the wrong fucking foot. If this is a new, new that is already seeking roundabout ways to get to know you, to even approach you. I'm going to need them to do some more work. And I don't mean more work on you. I, of course, mean work on themselves because Libra, ma'am. Sir, lady, man, high vibe tribe, I'm, I'm definitely talking to you. You were worth approaching. You were worth getting to know. You were worth being celebrated. You are worthy of someone not always having to use some underhanded, roundabout, magical sort of way to get to fucking know you. Can people just be, and I don't want to say normal, so I'm not... <laughs> Can they just be civil is what I'm going. Can these fucking people, male or female, can they just be civil? Can they just be civil, most high? Can they use some gosh damn common sense? Can they realize their divinity? Not all of them are. Let's just be honest. But at the end of the day, Libras, know that you are loved, you are supported, you are well guided, you are on your path, on your way, you're on target, you're on path, you're on par. Know that I love you. And I'm here for you, I support you. I may not be here every day, I'm still working on that. But that may not be my end game, understand, understand that. But we are still walking in the same direction, Libra. We are walking each other home. And as long as we stand together, rise together, we will be okay. <laughs> Any and all pertinent information to this reading can and will be listed right down below in the description box. Libras, please do continue to utilize your own intuition and discernment to continue making the very best decisions for your highest good. Thank you for your presence, for your energy, for your vibes, for your likes, for your shares, for your subscribes, for your comments, for your contributions. Libras, I love you. Whether you are a Libra or not, I appreciate you. I thank you for being here. Have yourselves an amazingly transformational Tuesday. United we stand, together we rise. Holla at your girl. Peace.